Here's today's daily shoutouts. Congratulations, guys! If you guys want a chance to win a shoutout on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. And check out listingnoel.com for the merch. Hey, guys! Welcome back to my channel! If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lucy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. And also, be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoy these do not call videos. You guys already know that today we're going to be calling numbers that you should never, ever call, ever. But before we get on to calling these spooky numbers that you guys should never call, I have a super exciting announcement. Today's video is sponsored by Ohana Island. If you guys haven't heard of Ohana Island, it's literally one of the cutest and most fun app store games ever. Let me tell you guys all about Ohana Island. During this game, you guys get to live on a tropical island and own a flower shop. The main character, Hannah, is seriously so cute, guys. I love her so much. You also get to decorate your flower shop and make it look super duper cute. Here's my current flower shop. I'm going to put it here on the screen. I literally love it so much and look at this little pug pillow that I put over here and this cute flamingo neon light on the wall. I seriously love those items so much. They're so cute. Also, there's super fun puzzles that you guys will get to play and you guys can earn stars during these puzzles and you can use those stars to complete tasks and decorate your flower shop. Also, I found this adorable sea turtle on the island and we saved him and it unlocked this lucky dive game here where I click on these chests and I get more supplies to complete tasks. The graphics in this game are so cute and look at I got some coins. It's seriously so cute. Also guys, I created my very own team in the game that you guys can play Ohana Island with me as well. However, there's only 30 spots on my team and everybody who joins my team will be getting 60 free bonus diamonds in the game so you guys better act fast and join my team. Type in Lissy Fam and join my team guys. Remember, it's limited slots so get there fast guys and join my team so we can play Ohana Island together. I love this island so much because not only can you sell cute flowers, decorate your flower shop, get adorable pets, make friends, and possibly find true love and get married on this island. But it's just so much fun and all the mini games are so cute. So be sure to check the pinned comment down below to download Ohana Island. The links will be down below for all the different countries and download links. And also there will be a Facebook giveaway link on Ohana Island's Facebook page. Be sure to check the description for the Facebook page giveaway so you guys can win free Amazon gift cards. The links are down below. So be sure to check out all the links down below to get the game. And I hope to play some Ohana Island with you guys. Make sure to download Ohana Island, you guys. Ohana Island. Bless flowers and build. Anyways guys, let's just get onto this video and let's call scary numbers that we should never call. Don't do this at home guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first phone number that you guys should never ever call, especially at 3am, is 701-347-1936. So let me tell you guys the backstory to this haunted phone number. People report that when you call this very number, you hear mysterious chattering accompanied by strange music. Also many claim that this number actually brings you a curse. And that when you call this phone number, it will do more than just scare you. The number, which is also a source in Castleton, North Dakota, is connected to the game Five Nights at Freddy's, which is super weird because I've been into all the F and A F conspiracies lately. But however, this is kind of unknown. You think that somebody connected to this phone number may have some sort of connection to Five Nights at Freddy's? Because since all the Five Nights at Freddy's fans that have called this phone number have immediately almost recognized the connection to the game and this phone call, which is super weird. Also, many have made out phrases when listening to this number saying, how are you? I am friendly and I will kill you, which is so scary. So of course we have to call it. You guys don't do it though. Let me take the risk. Hello. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Why is asking for my name? Uh, potato. I'm scared. Why are they asking for my name? I'm a potato though. Hello? That's scary! I don't like that! Ew! I don't know what it was saying. Comment down below if you guys could understand anything. I actually couldn't, so I, I don't know. I didn't really see any correlation to Five Nights at Freddy's. Is there anything that really correlated to that? But let me know if you guys did. All right, so the next possibly scary phone number we're gonna be calling is Santa Claus. 
Hear me out! I know Santa Claus looks like he's a jolly guy, but sometimes he can kind of scare me. Anyways, apparently people say that if you call this Santa Claus person, sometimes at 3 a.m. people have said that Santa Claus has called them back, stating that they're going to be on the naughty list. And not only that, they also have heard him viciously eating cookies when they called him at 3 a.m. And that's kind of scary. So I don't really know if this Santa Claus man is haunted, but we're going to call and see what's going to happen. Also, this number is 951-262-3062. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'm not going to be... <gasps> Merry Christmas. This is Santa Claus, and you have reached my personal hotline. We Santa? have been very busy making all of those toys to deliver on Christmas morning. Oh. I want you to know that your family loves you very much. They do? And so do I. Oh. So be good, and don't forget to always listen to your parents. When you hear the tone, please leave me your Christmas gifts and holiday cheer. And remember, kids... I know who's been naughty and nice. Well, that's Merry creepy! Christmas and I'll see you soon! <laughs> Ooh. I kind of want a pony for Christmas. Um, yeah, please don't put me on this naughty list. Thank you, Santa. Bye! Well, that was kind of weird. Okay, guys, so this next number, it might be one of the scariest, the creepiest, and the, the eeriest ones I'm ever going to call. So this one is actually 630-296- 7536. Hear me out. This number apparently can get you in contact with an organizational remodel company. That is, if you want a remodel that possibly could kill you. Well, I'm not even kidding when I say this. Once you call this number, people say that you will be calling Booth World Industries and you will either be led to Booth World's automatic voicemail system message that asks for your name or you might actually get a worker picking up on the other side of the phone that's apparently known to have an absolutely terrifying voice and whatever name that you tell Booth World apparently their name or whoever's name you tell to Booth World apparently is going to be dealt with and be Booth World's next secret target whatever that means that's what the dark web said I'm kind of nervous this number is also said to bring with it a truly eerie feeling when it's called so I don't know if this is a good idea but but I guess we're gonna do it. All right, we're calling Booth World. I'm kind of scared about this one, honestly. I reached Booth World Industries. Your number has been logged and traced. A service representative will be with you shortly for remodeling. We at Booth World Industries say thanks. You have a marvelous day. I'm scared. Did you guys hear that? It said your number has been tracked and traced and they're gonna get back to me? I really don't want them to get back to me. I'm actually really scared right now. Okay, so I know I said the last number was really scary, but this next number might be even worse. So hear me out on this one. This number is apparently really hard to get and really dangerous to share, so I'm not gonna put it on the screen. But apparently, this number is known to be connected to Susie's Drowning. If you haven't heard about Susie's Drowning, this number actually started in the 1970s as a phone number from the United Kingdom. It was often called by many children who were very curious about this horror story. Many of these young kids actually went out to the payphones and they called the number for free and heard a recording of a girl's voice sounding distressed as the girl would call for help and scream in fear. And also, when people would call, often a fraction of the time, they would hear the girl on the other end of the line asking for them to help her, screaming that Susie's drowning, Susie's drowning, help us, help me, help, she's drowning, in a very terrorized voice. Rumor has it that today, it's really hard to find the exact number, but people that have found it said that the call was extremely distressing and they regret it. Well, it looks like it's time to call Susie's drowning number. I don't know about this, guys. This is an emergency. Hang up and dial 911 for directory. I don't think that was Susie's number, but I really hope it wasn't. Okay, let's try this other Susie's drowning number. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call it's not available anymore. I think this number is unable to be reached, or if it is, somewhere deep on the dark web. So Susie's drowning? 
that haunted number doesn't work anymore or I just don't have it, which might be a relief. On to the next number. Okay, so this number I found on a random page and it said that it's spooky and it says if you push different numbers, apparently it gives you different things. The number is 877-772-7337 and it says it's haunted, but I don't really know. It says press number one for a scary story, two for hide and seek, and three if you want a fun song, four for some ASMR, which I thought was weird, because why would ASMR be on a haunted number? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. We're gonna call it. What the heck? Hello? Oh. I'm gonna play hide and seek. I pushed two. What? When they got to playing hide and seek, the bride decided to hide in her grandfather's trunk up in the attic. And they'll never find me here, she thought. As she was climbing to the trunk, the lid came down and cracked her on the head. She fell unconscious inside. That's the lid creepy. slammed shut and locked. No one will ever know how long she called for help. Everyone in the village searched for her, and they looked almost everywhere. But no one had thought to look in the trunk. After a week, her brand this new is scary. Gave her up for lost. Years later, a maid went up in the attic looking for something she needed. Maybe it's in this trunk. She, she opened it and no. there lay the missing bride in her wedding dress. But by then, she was only a skeleton. I'm scared. I didn't like that story. The poor bride literally died playing hide and seek, and then the maid found her in the chest. That was really creepy. I kind of want to know what the spooky ASMR is though, so I'm going to literally call one more time just to see what that's going to be. I'm going to do it. The voice by Elvin Short. Ellen, it whispered, I'm coming up the stairs. I'm on the first step. But they didn't hear her. They didn't come. And the voice whispered, Ellen, I'm on the top step. This is making me uncomfortable. I'm ending the call. I don't like that one bit. The whispering makes me very uncomfortable. No, I don't like that. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's Do Not Call These Phone Numbers. They are cursed video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can get this video to 20,000 likes. If this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will do another Do Not Call These Numbers video series thing. Anyways, guys, be sure to check out the links down below to Ohana Island, guys. That game is seriously so much fun. And big shout out to Ohana Island for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to play the game with you guys. So be sure to check it out. Anyways, guys, it's going to do it for today's video, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.